So today I am doing a meal prep video. Um, so as you know, I do have a couple workout videos on my channel. I'm all about the outer beauty, but the inner beauty is way more important. Now I am by no means like super into clean eating or anything. If you ask anybody on this earth that knows me, they're gonna tell you I'm obsessed with pizza, I love chips, like anything that you could possibly think of that's bad for you, I would be miserable like if I couldn't have it at all. Those types of foods though, I will limit them to the weekend, like 80% of the time because I'm not perfect. But I try to make sure if I'm gonna eat something bad, it's gonna be on the weekend and it's kind of a treat because I am trying to eat clean all week long. Now, if you're meal prepping, it's really just to make sure that you're eating what you're supposed to be eating. Now, if you don't have foods like already made um, and you're just like trying to last minute make something because you're hungry, chances are you're just gonna go more for a craving or something that's really fast. Whereas if you just have it ready and you have these meals for work or for snacks or whatever, you're gonna be making the right choices. Now this is by no means like a professional meal prep video where I'm counting my macros, which some of you probably don't even know what those are, but I just do this so I'm making healthy eating choices for life. Like I'm not about, you know, dieting. This isn't a diet. I'm trying to have a healthy eating regimen. That way I can treat myself and still be happy and not be miserable every time I go to like eat a meal. I'm also at work a lot of the time. I work a minimum of like 55 hours a week. So if I don't cook food, I'm gonna be buying it. And like when you buy food, obviously you're gonna think like, oh, I want fast food or something. And you're just wasting money and really putting things into your body that you don't need on a daily basis. Now, personally, I know I have a long way to go as far as perfecting, you know, eating clean and healthy majority of the time, but I try, I go through my phases and there's a lot of people that look up to me and my body type because I have a very athletic build, I'm very shapely. Um, you know, of course there are things I hate about myself, but there are people that I look up to for their physique and I'm sure there are tons of things they hate about themselves. So I don't want to, you know, discredit myself or anyone else. I want to be there to show you guys how I maintain my body. All right, so let's jump into this bad boy. So I just have four medium slash large sized potatoes that I had peeled. I'm chopping them up into little squares and then I will be seasoning them. So I'm just making roasted potatoes as a carb um, for the side of my protein. Now usually I do rice, but I do like to switch it up. I can't eat the same thing all the time. So my meal preps are slightly different from week to week. So I'm just coating my potatoes with Pam so they don't burn. And then the first thing I'm gonna put on them is garlic powder. So I guess these are like garlic roasted potatoes. I didn't like plan this. I just, I'm using seasonings that I like to use. And I am not being stingy with the seasoning at all. I'm all about tasting the seasoning and not the food. So don't judge me, please. Next, I'm just adding a little cumin or cumin, however you say that. Um, this is just to give them a little bit of a kick. Now I'm gonna go in and throw some parsley flakes on there. Um, honestly, I don't know what it does for flavor. I just feel like every time I ever see roasted potatoes, there's like parsley on it. So if anybody knows if it actually does anything, I guess comment below and let me know. And lastly, I am going to kill them with salt. Salt is my weakness. Oh my God, it's so bad. I need to stop using so much, but I can't help it. I put salt on everything. So now I'm gonna throw these in the oven at 375 and we'll check on them later. Now moving on to protein. I like to have two different types of protein. Um, this week I picked chicken and little like frozen salmon fillets. And this is just so I can have something for like lunch and dinner. I get so sick and tired of eating the same thing. So I try to switch it up all the time. Picking protein is actually so hard for me because I'm not a huge protein fan. Like by no means am I like anti-meat or anything like that. Just personally, it's like my least favorite thing to eat. And I only like certain types. 
I'm also like super weird with like the texture of food and I can't eat fat on any type of meat. So as you see, like I have these little, I don't even know what they are, like fillets or mini cutlets or something. And I'm like defatting these, even though there's really like nothing on them. I'm just that anal about like meat. So now we're gonna season these bad boys and I'm taking like my holy grail of seasonings. This is adobo. If you don't know what it is, like Jesus take the wheel and take your ass to the store and go get some because it is life changing. Um, if I could like pick one seasoning on a desert island for the rest of my life, it would be this. This is like the base flavor for my chicken. I'm gonna be coating the tops and bottoms. The rest of the seasonings, I'll only be coating one side of the chicken. So now I'm just taking some more garlic powder and I'm gonna dust some of that over the chicken as well. And let's guess what's next. Mm, salt, of course. So I'm going to be super heavy handed per usual and salt these mofos. And then I'll just be throwing them in the crock pot. Now, when I say I'm like weird with chicken, I'm like weird with chicken. I can only eat it cooked certain ways because of the texture it gets. Um, I personally love the crock pot because it'll like keep it moist, but it's still thoroughly cooked where it's kind of like chewy, if that makes sense. I can't do grilled chicken at all. It literally like makes me gag. And baked chicken is eh. I don't like how like plasticky it looks when it comes out it kind of skeeves me out so i'm just going to throw this in here and turn it on now mine has a slow cook button so it'll cook automatically for two hours and it doesn't say the temperature or anything so i guess it's just going to vary like per crock pot so now i'm going to move on to the salmon now these are from Costco. They're just like salmon fillets. It's the Kirkland brand. I've never got them before. Usually I go for tilapia, but like I said, I just get so bored with certain things. Like I need to switch it up. Now I took these straight out of the freezer. Um, I didn't really plan beforehand. I kind of decided to cook at this moment, like last second. So I'm going to open up the packages, put them inside of the container and then I'm going to stick them in the oven. Now the oven is on at 375 with our potatoes still in them. Um, this is like all real time. Basically what I mean is like everything I'm doing, I'm actually doing in sequence. I haven't rearranged anything. So I'm going to stick them in the bottom rack and just let them like de-thaw for about three to five minutes. Now I wanted them to de-thaw before I seasoned them because obviously you can't put seasoning on like something that's completely frozen. So I just basically kept it in there for about five minutes. All of the ice shed it off and now I'm going to season. So first I'm going in with a heavy handed amount of adobo. Like I said, that's usually the base for a lot of my meat. Now I'm going in with some garlic powder. I personally am not a fan of like the simple salmon with just like freaking lemon slices and some salt or whatever. I like to like OD season it. To me, it tastes so much better. So now I'm just going to throw some onion powder on there as well because I don't like to put onions in my meat. Um, I don't like onions either. Like I said, I'm super picky. I'm going to throw some parsley flakes on there. And lastly, just kidding, second to last, a little bit of black pepper, not too much because pepper tends to burn when you cook it, so you never want to overdo it. And now lastly, salt, duh. Now I'm just going to put these back in the oven. They cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, like it says on the bag. Okay, so I had peeled and cut up four more potatoes, just like the very first clip that you saw. And this is because I forgot to buy little diced frozen potatoes, which I usually use for breakfast as like makeshift hash browns. But these are probably actually better that I cut up, you know, actual real potatoes that aren't processed or anything. So I'm going to be using these for hash browns. So I cut them up. I'm going to put them in some boiling salted water. And we're just gonna let them boil until they're soft enough that you can poke a fork in them. 
So now I'll demonstrate for you the fork trick. So what I mean is when you scoop up some of the potatoes, you should be able to easily, like without any effort, just poke your fork right through it. And that's the ideal test that they're ready to eat. You can chew through them without having to like chomp or anything like that. Now these potatoes have been in the oven for about 40 minutes, I want to say. Honestly, I wasn't like checking on the clock, but I know it has been like a period of time. And I'm right now I'm just doing the fork trick with these as well. Once you can poke your fork through them, you know they're fully cooked. Now it's totally up to you. Like I'm putting mine back in so they can brown a little more, but they are completely edible as is. Now at this point too, my salmon is done. By the time I had boiled water, peeled and cut more potatoes and checked on those, it has been about 15 to 20 minutes. So that is what they look like and they taste even better. So now I'm just draining the potatoes that I had boiled. Like I said, I'm using these for hash browns. So I'm not gonna be seasoning them, seasoning them or anything right now. I will show you what I use for that, but these are just gonna go in a container and in the fridge as is, because in the morning I will take out a serving size and I'll fry it in a pan with some Pam spray, no oil, and that way you'll get like crispy home fries. For seasoning, I use a little bit of cumin, black pepper, and then just salt. And I'll always put ketchup on top of them like when I'm done. Well, well not on top, on the side. People that put ketchup on their stuff, I don't trust you. So at this point, it's been about 10 minutes. So the potatoes have cooked for about 50 minutes. As you see, they're like golden brownish. Now I'm just gonna make my vegetable. So I like broccoli. Um, I don't like to boil it though because I don't know. I feel like when you re-microwave it throughout the week, it just gets like really mushy. So I'll spray a pan. This is about half a bag. I probably could have used more, but it's all I had at the moment. Um, so I put it on the tray. Then I'm gonna take some Pam spray and coat them. Now I'm gonna take some salt, throw that all over them. After that, I'm gonna go in with some garlic powder. I personally love garlic powder on like roasted broccoli. It tastes so freaking good. And then just a tiny bit of black pepper for seasoning. Um, we don't want it to burn like I had said earlier. You can always add more of these seasonings too, like after they cook, if it's not to your liking as far as taste. So the oven is still on 375, just throw these in. And honestly, that takes about 40 minutes as well. Now, all of these things, they are time consuming, but think about all of the time that you're saving during the week every time you have to go and cook a meal. Also, you're just throwing them in an oven or in a crock pot so you can totally go about doing other things at home while they cook. So here is the food ready to go. Now, I don't have like 8,000 Tupperware containers, like all matching where I can just pack all my meals and have everything ready to grab and go, like so many freaking you know, food addicts or whatever. I have everything basically separated for the most part, except for a couple meals that I have packed on the right side of the screen. Other than that, I'm gonna be packing my meals the night before or the morning of, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like everything is still ready to go just because it's not like super organized looking. You're still gonna have your food cooked and ready and you're gonna make healthy choices during the week. Now the container I'm holding, as well as the two behind it, these are my three salmon meals. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the reason I only cook three salmons at a time is because fish, you don't wanna be like making for a whole week. You don't want it to sit there and get like nasty. It's definitely gonna go bad. So I will make fish like on a Wednesday night or something. Um, so I do have it for the rest of the week as well. The chicken on the other hand, I go ahead and make for the whole week. That usually doesn't ever go bad. All right, well, I had gone and did my makeup like when I was cooking the broccoli because I do have somewhere to go. So I had to throw my cute little face in there. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I definitely will do more if you guys like it. Thank you for watching again. I hope you like this. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Follow me on other social medias and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.